dear students welcome to this session today's session is little different in all our previous session we are dealing with symmetric matrix and today we are going to deal with non symmetric matrix how to find the eigen vector for a non symmetric matrix when the eigen values are repeated yeah this is the road map for our unit 1 So first of all, we have take the square matrix. We are dealing mostly with three cross three. Later, I will post how to solve two cross two. That is going to be very easy. So the matrices are classified into two types according to our problem. If my A equal to A transpose, then it is a symmetric matrix. If my A is not equal to A transpose, then it is a non-symmetric matrix. So the eigen values all may different, or some eigen values are repeated. When all the eigen values are distinct we just find the corresponding eigen vectors using the eigen values when the eigen values are repeated we use orthogonal transformation that is suppose we have all the three eigen vectors x1 x2 x3 then we know that they are mutually orthogonal to each other then we use the property x1 transpose x3 equal to 0 and x2 transpose x3 equal to 0 and we found the third eigen vector x3 using this so this is orthogonal transformation now in today's session we are going to deal with non symmetric matrix if all the eigen values are distinct you can use the same procedure what we did for symmetric matrix case 1 case 2 case 3 substitute the eigen values and find the corresponding eigen vectors x1 x2 x3 as usual there is no difference but if some eigen values are same here we are not going to use orthogonal transformation because in symmetric matrix alone all the eigen vectors are mutually orthogonal in a non symmetric matrix the eigen vectors need not to be orthogonal to each other in this case we are going to use the concept called similarity transformation so in today's session i am not going to deal with distinct eigen value because for both the cases the procedure is same so you can just go and watch the video from the playlist whatever the video suits for symmetric matrix non repeated eigen values the same thing suits for non symmetric matrices also so today we are going to deal on non symmetric matrix with repeated eigen values hope you understand the road map let us go into the problem here we find the eigen values and eigen vectors of the following matrix here we see when we do a transpose the first row will become first column so it is not equal to a so it is a non symmetric matrix and it is very important for a non symmetric matrix i can only find eigen values and eigen vectors only a symmetric matrix can be expressed into like canonical form from the quadratic form so here i can only find the eigen values and eigen vectors alone let's go we know all the procedures so just watch the video lecture if you don't know how to find the eigen values using the calculator so the characteristic equation is going to be this let us find the characteristic equation and eigen values so we know determinant of a minus lambda i equal to 0 that can be expressed in terms of s1 s2 and s3 so now s1 is nothing but sum of leading diagonal elements that is going to be 5 now s2 when i want to go for s2 i have to take the sum of the minors of the leading diagonal elements so i'll leave this to this row and column i'll be getting the 2 cross 2 determinant then similarly i'll take this element leave this row and column i'm getting this and finally you take the last element leaving this row and column you'll be getting the determinant for 2 1 1 2 when you expand this we'll be getting 7 and finally s3 s3 is going to be determinant of a so we have to take like this plus minus plus so when we expand this the first row two we have to neglect this row and column and expand this determinant will be getting 2 into 1 minus 0 then minus 1 leaving this row and column will be getting 1 minus 0 finally 1 into leaving this column and row will be getting 1 into 0 minus 2 into 0 0 so my determinant value is 3 or even it is very simple you need not to go always go for the first row if we can solve the determinant in another way also let us take this last row since this element is 0 0 into anything is 0 so we'll be getting 0 and the same way 
the second element is also zero so minus zero into anything is zero when i go for the third element it is very simple for me i will neglect this row and column and i can expand this determinant 1 into 2 to the power 4 4 minus 1 3 so you can go in this way also so the determinant value is 3 so we know s1 s2 s3 using the calculator find the roots that is nothing but my eigen values the roots calculator will show x1 equal to 3 x2 equal to 1 it will not show the third eigen value that means the third eigen value is also 1 next we have to find the eigen vectors so we know how to do this a minus lambda i we form the matrix and multiply with the x where x is nothing but x1 x2 x3 we have to write initially or right here like this let x is equal to x1 x2 x3 so when we simplify it we'll be getting this equations now substituting lambda equal to 3 1 1 etc we'll be getting the corresponding eigen vectors for the eigen values so let us go into the case one when lambda equal to 3 we'll be getting minus 1 minus 2 and minus 1 here so let us write the equations here all the three equations are different we can take any two equations i am going to take first and third equation the reason is it has two zeros so it is very simple to do the calculations and our code is 2312 So the coefficients is one, one minus one, one, and for this equation, coefficient is zero minus two, zero, zero. Now the expansion is going to be very easy. X one minus two minus zero. X two zero minus two. X three both are zero. So x one by minus two. X two by minus two. X three by Zero. I can rewrite this simply one one zero. So my first eigen vector is one one zero. So up to this, the procedure is same whether it is symmetric matrix or a non-symmetric matrix of a given problem. Case two. When I put lambda equal to one, I'll be getting one one zero. Now the third equation completely becomes zero. So I should not take this. I said the rule: you should not take the equation which is completely zero. and you should not take uh, like two equations which are same now now when i go and see the first and second equation they are same third equation is completely zero so i had only one option to do i had to go for the similarity transformation i'll tell what is similarity transformation so the first two equations are same and third equation is completely zero so i am putting x1 equal to 0 randomly if you put x2 or x3 that is also correct i'll be getting x2 plus x3 equal to 0 so x2 is equal to minus x3 x2 by minus 1 is equal to x3 by 1 either you can write like this or x2 by 1 is equal to x3 by minus 1 both are correct so my eigen vector is 0 minus 1 one problem over now if it is a symmetric matrix then we have to go orthogonal transformation we use x1 transpose x3 equal to 0 x2 transpose x3 equal to 0 to find the third eigen vector but here this is a non symmetric matrix and non symmetric matrix need not to be follow the rule the eigen vectors are mutually orthogonal so it is very simple now again i am going to put zero in the second element in previous case i put x1 zero now i am going to put x2 zero so i'll be getting x1 equal to minus x2 so x1 by minus 1 is equal to x3 by 1 so my new eigen vector is going to be minus 1 0 1 or 1 0 minus 1 so this process is called as similarity transformation so for the case of non symmetric it is going to be very easy put two different zeros in the equations are same then you get the eigen vector and you see for symmetric we are dealing with all these cases but in the non symmetric matrix the eigen vectors need not to be mutually orthogonal you take this two what do you get 0 minus 1 Zero. Similarly, you take this zero, zero, one. So you cannot get mutually orthogonal vectors in non-symmetric matrix. So you'll be getting a pirated smiley. So it need not to be always zero. Maybe sometime it is zero. Hope you understand the idea. Next, write the eigen values and the corresponding eigen vectors one by one. Present in a very neat. form that's it now we learn how to crack eigen vectors when the eigen values are repeated for non symmetric matrix if the eigen values are distinct 
no issues we can go the same procedure as like symmetric matrix thanks for watching if you have any queries or doubt post in the comment box we are there to help you thank you see you in the next video